Um, I'm Karina. I am 21 years old. <laughs> I am from Romania. My name is Rihi Patel and I'm from London. Uh, I'm Michael Stratton and I'm from Australia. My name's Jack Deville and I come from a small town called Eastbourne in Sussex. So my name is Gioia. I'm from Rome, Italy. And I am doing an undergraduate degree in biomaterial science. My initial plan was to study medicine. And um, of course, I went down the traditional route of you know, taking biology and chemistry and maths. And that's when I stumbled upon this course at Queen Mary University. Um, so material science and engineering, I think the simplest way to describe it is the science of stuff, chemistry of solids. So it's a subject where you look at metals, polymers, ceramics, composites, um, a whole range of materials, what they can do, why they have the properties they have, how to make them, how to process them. What materials there are, the different classes, how they're processed, how they're characterised and how we can go about designing new materials for different applications. Um, what I enjoyed the most in my first year uh, were the labs and the practicals as well as the challenges that we had on the side. Um, we have for the first two years this module called Student Centered Learning which um, you know is based on just applying the knowledge that we get from lectures and uh, tutorials to real life problems. So I chose, um, I chose material science quite indirectly because I really wanted to um, study engineering because in school I've, I've always preferred uh, scientific subjects to more humanistic subjects. Um, originally my plan was actually to go into um, aeronautical engineering. I hadn't even heard of material science until coming to an open day and then I just saw this talk advertised and thought, oh, I might have a look at that and then I went and I did some research and it turned out to be much more suited to my interests. In our first year it's uh, one of the funnest ones that we do. It's a group project where you have to make a self-powered boat and you get to race it across the canal. You make and design the boat and come up with a way to power it, for example, elastic powered, or we had people using tape measures, and at the end of the term, you all race it across the canal, and it's a, it's a lot of fun, but you also learn a lot from it. Um, and I guess my area of interest is that um, you know, when designing medical devices or perhaps sports equipment, um, imaging as well. If you look at the big companies, they all require in some department or another material scientists. And the fact that there's not as many of us at the moment, I guess it will be a really big advantage in the long run. I stayed in London because uh, the student life's great. It's a bit more expensive than other places in the UK, but uh, in general there's way more going on. Um, also, Queen Mary is part of the University of London, so you get access to a huge range of resources all over. There's always things to do and friends you can make and lots of, I think something about Queen Mary is there's always like lots of different things you can get involved in with societies and just sports and that type of thing and events. Commuting in every day, um, you get used to it after a while and I've still made lots of friends and had lots of fun. So. The first thing would probably be to join societies. Lots of people obviously they're coming to uni for the course but in actual fact course won't fill all your hours and you do still need to build stuff around your course. Um, just in terms of social life, joining a sports society, that's how I met quite a few of the friends that I have now. Um, and in terms of employability, join um, academic societies like Material Society because they run all sorts of events that really help boost your CV. I would say stay focused and try your best academically, but keep an open mind. I would say tackle it. It's kind of a challenge, but when you're coming into freshers and you're starting university, even the course that you're starting, everything's new to everyone there. So even whether people knew that they wanted to do that course or whether they're just finding out what they want to do in general in life, uh, university is like the place that you figure that out. 